happening right now. We've got Louise Errington Thomas, who's probably the most important person here this morning <laughs> because she is the marketing director at Battersea Power Station. Louise, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's really good to be here. Um, and it's just great to be here to launch the radio station. And thank you so much as well for sponsoring uh, Riverside Breakfast. Oh, we're really pleased to be a partner of this. It's, yeah, it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. I know we're going to talk to Alex Baker a little bit later, who deals with communities and sustainability here at Battersea Power Station. But it, look, you, you can tell how excited. I'm a big, big fan of Battersea Power Station. So excited to be here. Every time I'm coming, it's like I'm in a different world when you come to Battersea Power Station. But there's so many events to come at Battersea Power Station, isn't there? What is? And the first one's on Wednesday, actually. That's right. On Wednesday, we are announcing, we're working with the London Boat Race to announce the cruise for the boat race that's coming up later in the month. So everyone can come down. It's the first time it's been um, unveiled in public. Yes. So the cruise will be announced. There'll be sort of meet and greets and uh, yeah, lots, lots of celebrations. Yeah, normally they do it in a hotel in Berkshire somewhere, but, <laughs> exactly. now, but now it's going to be here at Bassey Pass Station. Yeah. So anyone can come down and join in with that. Yep, yeah, early evening. There'll be lots of celebrations. So you can find out more on the website at bassepowerstation.co.uk. And you do amazing events here and a lot of the events are free. Yes. So people can come along and do stuff free. Over at Christmas, for instance, you can go and see Father Christmas up there in Turbine Hall A. Brilliant. Uh, what are you doing for Easter? Uh, so for Easter, we ha are working with Smiley World. So all the emoticons, we have an art trail with Wild and Art. So there'll be 15 giant um, emojis scattered around the power station, both inside and out. Are they going to be different emojis yeah. or just the Smiley ones? Different ones. So everyone can learn more about what, which one, what they each mean. Yeah. And there'll, there'll be a, a bespoke artwork on the back. So you can come down, find them all. There'll be arts and craft workshops and generally lots of things for all the family to do. Trampolines, and bum um, bumper cars and yeah lots of fun that sounds amazing and then of course the summer you got we've got a big summer to come i was just talking we were just talking off air about me going i'm going to paris for the olympics yes. um for a little bit to watch some of the rowing but you are an official team gb um, zone, aren't you? Fan zone. We are indeed. So uh, we'll be bringing back the Bastille Games, which will be taking place across the whole of the summer. But one of the big highlights will be we are hosting the Team GB fan zone. So the only one in London. The only one in London yes. is here at Bastille Power Station. Yeah. I think they did it at um, Trafalgar Square before, didn't they? They did, yeah. This is, this this is, is the new location. It this is. is it, folks. So you can come down, watch all the sports. Uh, there'll be big meet screens. And greets, big screens. There'll be lots of activities. So we had things like Bastille basketball courts and running tracks last year so we're looking to bring all those sorts of fun family activities back do you reckon you get some of the medal winners when they come back hopefully from Paris it's not far <laughs> they the could plan. pop into Battersea and show us their medals absolutely come on let's Straight do that the train. but also we've got Wimbledon which is obviously in our local area here in South West London and you, you screen that as well don't you outside yeah, we're the official fan zone for Wimbledon as well of so you are. of course <laughs> um, so we'll have all of that taking place early July and then we're the uh, Paralympic fan zone as well so it's going to be a really big oh my Life. <laughs> Bassy Power Station, the place to be. It Electric is. Boulevard is the new high street outside Bassy Power Station. There's a bit of work going on at the moment at the top there. That's apparently for the new entrance to the tube. Can you tell us about that? That's right, yes. So that'll be the uh, western entrance to the tube that will open um, um, hopefully at the end of this year, early next year. And um, that means that there'll be two entrances and it'll just be helped to complete Electric Boulevard as we um, announce more openings very shortly along that. And of course, the latest opening is Dishoom. Oh my goodness, I was in there a few weeks ago. It's the best Indian meal I've ever tasted. Oh, it's incredible. And, and there's so many queues there. <laughs> I was lucky to get in so early. It was an early Lunch. I but, can highly wow. recommend breakfast. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my goodness. A bit later, maybe after the show. Yeah. Um, but there's lots of um, units there, isn't there? What's going to fill those units? Do we know yet? Um, we do, we, but we haven't announced them yet. So more to come on that. But we have got third space opening, um, which yes. we're really excited about. We've got uh, Social the Nail Bar um, coming inside Turbine Hall yeah. um, A. And then we have El Pastor opening in a few months, which we're El Pastor's really the Mexican restaurant, yes. isn't it? That's just that side on the... What's that in bit? Circus the, Village Circus West. Circus Village yes. West, yes. So we've got that. Um, and there's something next door to that that's about to open. That's also part of it. It's a two drops, so a cocktail bar, which would be lovely. Oh, wow. Another <laughs> cocktail bar for that. I know. And there's something else. There's Lips. The, yeah, so Lips uh, is the pharmacy, isn't it? It is, yes. So that'll be opening uh, this spring. So we're really excited. Um, we know it's something that a lot of people do ask for as pharmacy. Yeah. So it is coming very soon. Great for local people Absolutely. to come into Bastille Power Station. We were saying earlier, 11 million people have visited Bastille Power Station in its first year. Do we know any numbers for this year yet? Um, 
Um, not um, not that we've announced yet, but the f- football is doing very well. So uh, I'll tell you, this weekend it was absolutely even. Yeah. I was here yesterday in Control and B. We could move around it. There were so many people here. Um, and any other plans that you want to tell us about? Any anything you want to give us an exclusive on? <laughs> who's coming? Not any nothing, stores? That, <laughs> no. no, no exclusives just now. But watch this space. We're, we're imminently about to announce some more, no more brands. So. And of course, you do competitions and various things on your socials as well. What are they? We do. So every week we run um, a competition with one of our brands. So it's a great opportunity to come down and win something you know from cocktails or cinema experiences all those sorts of things so do follow us at Bastard Power Station on Instagram Um, it's where we often announce a lot of our new openings and you can get all the latest news there well Louise Harrington Thomas thanks again for making this show possible here at Riverside Radio Uh, the marketing director at Battersea Power Station thank you so much for that it is half past eight here on Riverside Radio Riverside